Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We will start off the Jewish lesson starting with Mat Asli. Mat letters are Alif, Ya, and Wow. Alif, Ya, and Wow are the Mat letters. When any of the Mat letters is preceded by a harakat of the same type, then there will be a, a length of two harakat in the citation. Example, this Alif is preceded by Fatha. It is of the same type. This Ya is preceded by a Kasa, same type. This Wow is preceded by, by the Dhamma, same type. The mat letters is with no harakat. Alif Sukun, Ya Sukun, Wow Sukun. Sukun, there is no harakat to the letter. Example, this Wow, there is a harakat Fatha. This Wow, Sukun, there's no nothing there. There's no harakat. It's meant by Sukun. So when Alif Sukun or Ya Sukun or Wow Sukun is preceded by a harakat that is of the same type. So then it will be recited with a length of two harakat. Qala haqiqun musa. This one, huwa, when you walk off top the wow here, it becomes hu to harakat, become an asli. Because the harakat is removed, become sukun. So who it become manasli as sim. It's not like a wow here. Sim. Originally it was hua, but when you stop it become hu. The fatha is removed, it becomes hu. Even though in the Quran fatha is still there, but when you stop, you will imagine that the fatha is already gone. And this is the original in the Quran, this is your imagination. When you stop, the fatha is gone. Same thing, tulqiya, ya with a harakat fatha, when you stop become tulqi, the fatha is gone. But in the Quran, the fatha is still there. Only when you recite, then you will imagine that the fatha is gone already. So tulqi. The characteristic of mat asli is when you stop wakaf or continue wasal, it still remains as at two harakat. They say you stop eh, wakaf. Rizqan qalu lu tu harakat. And if you want to wasal, continue. Rizqan qalu haza. This lu still the same tu harakat. This is a tangent for those who have learned Arabic grammar. Sometimes you hear people say mat tabi'i or mat asli. This one is interchangeably between mat asli and tabi. But actually, mat tabi is more for the Arabic grammar. Uh, let's say, muflihun, a successful person, which is singular. And muflihuna, successful people, plural. Originally, there's no wow there. But become plural, become muflihuna. There's a wow added. Muflihuna. Then this is called mat tabi'i. For those who have learned Arabic grammar lah. But for those who just learn Tajwid, you can say this as mat asli also. So it doesn't matter. You can say it mat asli. But those who know Arabic, then this will be mat tabi'i. This is just extra knowledge. Lah. 